Thank you very much. Thanks, uh, everybody. Uh, hello. <laughs> nice to be here. How are you doing? Good. 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 Nice to be here. I, uh, I'm broke. Anybody else broke? Uh, you ever get so broke that the bank starts charging you money for not having enough money? That's fucking broke, man. Bank called me up, they're like, hi, we're calling because you don't have enough money. I'm like, I know. She's like, sir, you have insufficient funds. Well, that's a good way to put it, too. I agree with that. I find my funds to be grossly insufficient. Thanks for calling. Why are you mad at me? I don't understand what... How is this something I'm doing to you? She's like, sir, you only have $20. That's not enough. You can't only have $20. I'm like, look, I'm not being broke just to fuck with you. I just really don't have any money. I'm not trying to be a dick. I just... My life is shitty. What? So they charged me. They charged me $15. That's how much it costs to only have $20. Here's the fucked up part. Now I only have five. What did I pay the twenty to the fifteen dollars for if I don't get to have the twenty dollars that I paid to have? I paid the fucking money. Where's my twenty bucks? That's like going to the movies. You pay buy your ticket and they go get the fuck out of here. Go home. But I paid for the movie. No, you paid for a ticket, motherfucker. You didn't pay for a movie. <laughs> you ever have negative money? That's depressing, isn't it? You look in your bank account. Negative ten dollars. That's how much I have now. Negative ten. That means I don't even have no money now. I wish I did. I wish I didn't have anything. I wish I just had nothing, but I have less than that. I don't have none. I have not ten. I don't... I can't... I'm like... If it's free, I can't fucking afford it. Somebody could come up to me, take this, it's free. Fuck, that costs nothing. I can't afford that. That's more than I have. I gotta raise ten bucks to be broke. That's where I'm at. That's not good. That's bad. Apparently some of you are in the same fucking position. <laughs> How's your economy doing? Shit. No, I'm glad you appreciate that story. Not everybody appreciates that story. I told that story about a week ago in Orange County, California, and all these rich motherfuckers looking at me with their boat hands and their golf shirts and penny loafers they're all looking at me like well yeah like you were financially irresponsible you had to pay the price i don't frankly see what you're angry about the bank has a right to accrue a fee clearly that's how different it is to be rich than it is to be poor because when you're rich the bank pays you for being rich if you have a lot of money, they give you money because you have a lot of money. They say, you have so much money that we should give you some. Because you have a lot, you should have more. Here, take more money. Take this guy's 15, fuck him, you should have it. It makes perfect sense. He doesn't have enough, you have a lot. Fine, take it all, you motherfuckers. I don't give a shit. You ever get so broke it just becomes funny to you after a while? You're like, Jesus Christ! I have no fucking money! Jesus! People call you, hi, we're gonna turn off the... Yeah, fuck it! Turn it off, man! Turn it off! I don't give a shit! When can you make a payment? I ain't paying anything! What am I gonna fucking pay you with? I fucking sold the phone. I don't need it now. <laughs> Damn it, man. This shit's brutal. 
I live in New York too, and man, there's uh, you can't get along with no money in New York. You gotta live in these tiny places. I have this apartment, right? And uh, we have this. Okay, here's the toilet, right? I'm on the toilet. This is how small the apartment is. The, the tub is right here, like right next to the toilet. Then there's a wall, like right fucking here, like right. There's no. You gotta. You get squeezed in. And here's the worst part. I have to put a foot in the tub to use this toilet because. Otherwise, I gotta go like this. Who shits like this with their knees together? I'm pooping. Boop. 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 No, you gotta fucking dig in. Bang on a fur. You gotta get into it. And in order to achieve, to achieve this position, I have to put a foot in the tub. Now try putting a foot in the tub when your pants are at your ankles. You can't. They both want to go, right? So I have to take off the whole pant leg, which means I have to take a shoe off every time I take a shit. Every time. And sometimes that's okay, but a lot of times it fucking isn't okay. Sometimes I didn't plan effectively, and I'm ten blocks from my house, and I've got to shit. You know when you you can't run because you'll bounce it out, so you got to kind of glide, and you're going, "Come on, god damn it!" And you stop occasionally. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Come on, man. God. Okay, I'm gonna make it. 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 And I always get to this point where like, I'm gonna make it. I'm fucking fine. I'm fine. Mind over matter. I'm gonna make it. And then I see my house. I just see it, and my eyes tell the rest of me, "Fuck it, man. Let go. We're here. There's no need to hold on anymore. We've made it." Because my eyes are fucking retarded, and they don't know the difference between the outside and the inside of my house. So now I got like Olympic seconds to fucking get in my house. And open the door to bathroom, and I gotta take a fucking shoe off? Are you? I have shit my pants 13 times. <laughs> I couldn't keep a straight face with that. All right. <laughs> oh, shut up. Ah, you better leave now. It doesn't get any better. Anyway. <laughs> No, no, fine. Sorry, blah blah. Uh, so anyway, no money. I guess I'm white trash officially, and uh, white trash is a very funny expression to me because it's the only racial expression you can use, and no one gets offended. Nobody gives a shit when you say white trash. Nobody gets all quiet like, "Hey, man, why are you talking like that? That's not cool." Nobody defends white trash. You can be talking to the most liberal hippie in the world. You go, hey, I saw this guy. He was white trash. He'll go, ha ha, fuck that guy. White trash piece of shit. Let's laugh at him because he's poor and he's starving to death. Fucking loser. He lives in a trailer because he can't afford a house. Let's go shit right in his face right now. That's why they're funny to us because they're fucking poor. He wears stupid clothes because they're fucking free, so he can eat. Ha fucking ha! Man, it's depressing in this country. You ever go like you ever drive through whole towns where everybody's life is shit in the whole town? Everybody's just standing in front of their house like. Oh man. This is a weird election too. People got weird, man. I was driving through this town in upstate New York. This guy's standing there with a sign that says "Honk if you love America." Now I love America, but I'm looking at this guy and I'm thinking, "What the fuck are you doing, man? This is your day. You're gonna stand at this red light with this fucking sign. What is wrong with you?" And he's looking at me because he's angry that I haven't honked yet. And now he's trying to intimidate me. He's like, "Fucking honk, motherfucker!" Honk. <laughs> I decide. You know what? I'm not honking. And you know why? 'Cause fuck this guy. That's why he doesn't get to decide this rule for the whole fucking intersection. Just 'cause he's got a magic marker and no job, now I have to honk. 
or else otherwise I'm a fucking commie? Fuck him. What if I go up to him with a t-shirt that says, lick my balls if you love Jesus? Come on, man, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. What are you, a Jew? Lick 